For my functions project, I made frosty. For the bottom of the hat and the top of the slash, I wanted a wide rounded curve, so I horizontally stretched a quadratic equation and vertically shifted it so that it would be just around to the top of the head and the area where I wanted the slash to be. Next, I used domain restrictions to prevent the lines from going past these boundaries here. For these parts here, I use logarithmic functions because I did not want it to be a horizontally symmetrical, but I still wanted the curvature and it to be on the diagonal. So for these, I made it steeper than its parent function by changing its base. Next, I vertically shifted it so that it would land up here above the bottom of the line and horizontally shifted it so that it would go on the edges. Next, I placed domain restrictions so that it would not overextend to the crown or out here. For the top of the hat, I did not want it to be equal, but I wanted it to be similar, so I used two different functions, but an exponential and a logarithmic. So to make them similar, I used the same a value, which was 3. Next, I horizontally shifted them so that they would end right here, and vertically shifted them so that they would land to the top of the hat. Next, I placed domain restrictions so that they would not extend past here or over onto the other side. Also, I used the piecewise function to finish this hat because I wanted a pattern. I wanted the main part of the pattern to be quadratic, but I did not want it to be only quadratic, so I ended it with a linear function. Next, I placed a domain restriction so that the pattern would not overextend the crown. And I vertically shifted it so that it would land in the area of the crown just above the slash.